Welcome to Digital Electronics Experiment Lecture Series. Today, I'll be going to show you all flip-flop using multi-sim software. So let us see the flip-flop. So first, go to Mesh Digital, then go to TTL, and here we get the flip-flop. Now, to apply the frequency at input side, we need a function generator. So here, we get function generator. To copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Now we connect function generator's OGD terminal with D flip flop input and common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then go to power source and here we get ground. To Observe the output. We need a oscilloscope. So here we get four channel oscilloscope. Now we connect oscilloscope A channel at input D, B channel at input clock, C channel at output Q, and D channel at output Q bar. Now we apply. 1000 Hz frequency in square wave form at input D. Then 750 Hz frequency in square wave form at clock. So all the setup of D flip flop is completed. So let's simulate the circuit. For simulation, click on run and double click on oscilloscope. Now, here we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen so we get clear idea about the output. So here we can see that this first waveform is input D, the second waveform is input clock, the third waveform is output Q, and fourth waveform is output Q bar. So here we can see that when clock is present at a time if D equal to 0 then Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1. When clock is present and D equal to 1 at a time Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. Let us see T flip flop. So right click on D flip flop then select replace components and here we get T flip flop. Now click on run. So here we can see that when clock is present at a time if T equal to 0 then we get same output as like previous. And when clock is present and t equal to 1 at a time, we get inversion of previous output. That means here previous output q equal to 0. So we get q equal to 1 at here. Let us see SR flip flop. So right click on T flip flop, then go to replace components. And here we get SR flip flop. Now we apply 500 Hz frequency in square wave form at input R and 250 Hz frequency in square wave form at input S. Now click on run. Here the first wave form is input S, the second wave form is input R. The third waveform is output Q and fourth waveform is output Q bar. When S equal to 0 and R equal to 0 at a time, Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1. When S equal to 0 and R equal to 1 at a time, Q equal to 0 and Q bar equal to 1. When S equal to 1 and R equal to 0 at a time, Q equal to 1 and Q bar equal to 0. When S equal to 1 and R equal to 1 at that time, we get invalid output.
Let us say Jack F. Flop. For Jack F. Flop, we take a new sheet. For new sheet, click on new and click on create. Now go to Miss Digital and here we get Jack F. Flop. To apply the frequency at input side, we need a function generator. So here we get function generator. To copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Now we connect function generator's OGD terminal with JK flip flop input and common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then power source, and here we get ground. To observe the output, we need oscilloscope. So here we get four channel oscilloscope. Now we connect first oscilloscope A channel with input J, B channel at input K, and C channel at input clock. Now we connect second oscilloscope A channel with output Q and B channel with output Q bar. Here we apply 500 Hz frequency in square wave form at input J. Then 1000 Hz frequency in square wave form at input K. And 700 Hz frequency in square wave form at input clock. Now, our all the setup of JK flip flop is completed. So, let's simulate the circuit. For simulation, click on run and double click on oscilloscope. Here, we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen so we get clear idea about the output. So here we can see that the first waveform is input J, the second waveform is input K, the third waveform is input clock. In the second screen, the first waveform is output Q and second waveform is output Q bar. So here we can see that when clock is present J equal to 0 and K equal to 0 at a time, we get same output as like previous. When clock is present, j equal to 0 and k equal to 1 at a time, we get q equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1. When clock is present, j equal to 1, k equal to 0 at a time, we get q equal to 1 and q bar equal to 0. When clock is present, j equal to 1 and k equal to 1 at a time, we get inversion of previous output. That means, here, previous output q equal to 1, so here we get q equal to 0. So I hope you get clarification about D flip flop, T flip flop, SR flip flop and JK flip flop. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video then write on comment box. I will be definitely try to solve your queries.